Hello students, in this video we are going to solve the exercise of lesson number 3 that is agents of erosion. So let us start with the first question. So the first question is question number 1 complete the following table. In this table we have 3 columns that is agents, erosional landforms and depositional landforms. Okay, so the first agent is river. So which are the landforms which are created because of river? So the landforms like V-shaped valley, waterfall. So these, this is an erosional landform. Jahan se erosion ki process start hoti hai. Okay. Just to take a material and transport it. That is the erosional landform. A depositional landform matlab jahan pe sare materials aake deposit hoti hai. Okay. They are just placed at some particular place. So that is called as depositional landform. So depositional landforms are alluvial fans, flood plains and deltas. Next agent is wind. <clears throat> now wind can create an erosional landform like mushroom rock yadang. Okay, so these are the landforms which you can see basically in the desert area which is created by wind and which are the depositional landform which you can see deposit hone ke baad land, sand dunes create hote hai, bare cans create hote hai, Scythe and dunes. So these are the landforms which are created because of the depositional work. To solve this table, you should always consider that there are two types of works or landforms. First is erosional and second is depositional. Erosion में क्या होता है कि transportation के वजह से कौन से किस तरीके के landforms create होते हैं? और deposition में क्या होता है कि अगर एक ही जगह पे सब कुछ आके deposit हो जाता है. So, what kind of landforms create? Hote? Next is sea waves. Sea waves create cliff, sea caves, stacks. So, these are the erosional landforms. Jo erosion hone ke wajah se ye landforms create huye hai. Aur depositional mein kya hota hai? Ki beach create hote hai, headlands create hote hai, sandbars create hote hai. Ye kab hota hai? Jab deposit ho ja, hota hai material kisi ek jagah pe. Next is ground water. Sinkhole, Terrorosa, so these are the erosional landforms and stalactites, stalagmites, caves, these are the depositional landforms. Glaciers may be Horn, Roche, Montanese and in depositional it is Drumlings, Esker and Moraines. So these are the uh, answers for complete the table. Let us move for choose the correct option by identifying the correct correlation in the sentence. So these are the MCQs. First one is water or snow enters the crack in the rock and makes it weak. And when the granule glaciers passes on these rocks, it pulls the rock at the bottom along with it. This process is called as, so the right answer here is lucky. Next, sometimes the river starts erosion upstreams and this happens when the head streams get a lot of water in the early stages of the river. So this is ultimately called as headward erosion. Okay. Next, soft rocks erodes beneath the hard rock due to the sea waves and this result into the landforms which further develop into sea arcs. So this landform is called as sea cave. Next is question number 4. This landform develops due to depositional work of wind. The windward slope of the landform is gentle. The answer is sand hills. Next is question number 5. River, glaciers, wind, sea waves, ground water are the agents of erosion. Following work is the correct order is responsible to form various landforms. So, now which is the correct way <coughs> or correct process? Sabse pehle, what happens? There is a disintegration of any type of material into so small, small particles. Okay. Disintegration means what? When a big uh, rock gets broken down into small small granules and particles so that process is disintegration after that these materials are picked up by the agents then they are further transported by the agents and then finally they are deposited so option d that is disintegration picking up transportation deposition so this is the exact process which is followed by all the agents like river glacier wind sea waves and groundwater let us move further to question number 3 that is give reasons. So the first question is the eastern coast of India have deltas formed by the river but the western coastal has e-saturates. 
so the answer is like mountain systems are almost absent in the eastern coast okay we know that at the eastern place the mountains are absent so that is why when rivers at this coast meet the ocean their flow is opposes by ocean waves and therefore the alluvial and sedimentary carried by the rivers are deposited on the large amount okay so this makes the river break down into channels which is called as distributaries distributaries matlab kya jahan pe bahut sare uh, sediments ya fir soil all the mud particles are deposited and which creates an hurdle for water to move so because of that a small small channels are created and those channels are called as distributaries the river deposits the sediment within its channel in a triangular shape which is called as delta so triangular shape jab create hota hai depositional work ke wajah se at the river mouth that triangular shape is called as delta therefore these deltas are seen more on the eastern coast of india the rivers that originate in sayadri they flow towards the west and meets the arabian sea at the western coast of india so these rivers are very fast they are very wide as well as they have deep river beds okay ye jo rivers hote ye bahut bade fast aur wide hote the region near the mouths of these rivers is not deep therefore the ocean water reaches the mouth and forms the e saturates okay so this is what is the explanation for first one now second is there is a direct relationship between the velocity of the agents and the process of deposition now the process of deposition takes place due to various factors okay the velocity if the velocity of the agent is high definitely the material carrying capacity will be more okay now if the stream or the wind is having a slow velocity to fir wo jo material jo wind carry kar raha hai wo bhi kam hoga the cap uh, carrying capacity will decrease to isse kya hoga the particle size carried will also decrease okay agar un, uh, wind mein agar strength hai to hi wo heavy material ya fir zyada material carry kar payega agar wind mein strength kam hai then definitely it won't be able to carry more material now if the stream flows faster agar koi river bahut fast flow kar rahi hai so it is definitely carry large amount of material there are the chances of floods at the river okay and it is going to carry out the depositional process also if there is a change in slope of the land or change in the direction of the flow deposition may occur abhi deposition kab hota hai ki uh, slope se achanak if there is some obstacle to waha pe zyada se zyada material deposit hota hai theek hai ya fir koi direction change ho raha hai aapke river ka to jahan se river turn le rahi hai to us jagah pe deposition ka process zyada hota hai so it is basically because of the change in slope or change in direction of flow iske wajah se deposition zyada hota hai next is compared to or compared to all the agents sea waves work ceaselessly theek hai now uh, sea waves they are constantly moving okay we all know that the water in the sea is always having tides low tide high tide okay so because of that it works ceaselessly erosion is also a part which is uh, which is created by sea waves and it is a continuous process which keeps on taking place constantly velocity of the wind over the ocean creates the waves and these waves they always travel from the coast and towards the sea so during this journey the ocean waves constantly erodes the rock and they take the material along with them inside the water body okay so this is why there is a creation of sandbars lagoons at the places of sea waves so because of that there is a threaten to the coastal areas also highly erosion takes place highly deposition takes place so always a neat and clean watch is kept on the sea or on the coastal areas next is one finds many ship rocks horns at trees and hanging valleys in himalaya now himalaya is a place which is totally covered by mountains 
where the precipitation is always in the form of snowfall so the layers of snow accumulate and convert and gets converted into ice means when the snowfall is occurred so that snow is very very minute and small and soft but when these snow layers they get accumulated at each other and because of high pressure the snow gets converted into ice now this ice is very heavy in weight and so it starts moving down very slowly and this flowing of ice is called as glaciers so glaciers to carry out erosion transportation and deposition okay so but the process of them is very slow and that process is called as abstraction there is ice movement because of weathering mass wasting which steepens the wall at the head of the glacier it deepens the armchair shape depression called as kerb okay basically there are two or more kerbs developed side by side and these kerbs they have a narrow wall which are called as rt okay now there are some formation of peaks also and these peaks are called as horns so this is all about the rock horns arteries kerbs which we can see basically in the himalayas because of what because of deposition of ice snow glaciers okay now next is crust landforms are seen concealed under the surface of the earth now basically crust landform is created why it is basically created because of underground water uske three important factors hai like you require a joint you require carbon dioxide for the creation of crust landform okay you require a sinkhole water body so it is basically seen where there is a large scale of limestone found you need a fracture pattern you need a joint at the place of crust landform the water from precipitation soaks into the ground and flow along the surface of the earth the limestone dissolves easily into the water and the water beneath the earth surface it moves and carries the substances from an appearances on the landform so these landforms are always concealed under the surface of the earth that is because of underground water now this is the last give reason snow line decides the limit of glacier work as an agent of erosion now basically the glaciers they always cause weathering when they are moving okay they are very heavy in weight so they uh, because of fra- uh, friction they take large amount of material downwards so in the areas where high altitudinal areas and high latitudinal areas these precipitation is always in the form of snowfall okay so the snow it gets accumulated and it gets converted into ice and when ice starts moving down it is called as glaciers so basically glaciers is always in a solid state which has a very low velocity okay this uh, this erosion carried out by glacier is very very slow so it carry out the erosion it carry out the transportation as well as it carries out the deposition so glaciers they uh, do the processes of plucking and abstraction plucking matlab kya ki jo bhi layer hai surface layer hai us pe se usme se particles ko pluck karna aur unko un uh, agents khud ke sath niche lekar aate hain theek hai abstraction means what it is just polishing of the material so this is what it is done by glaciers and uh, the uh, this process stops when the ice melts okay so below the snow line the velocity of the glacier becomes slow and the erosion work and the glaciers also stop therefore the slow line decides the limit limit of glacier work as an agent of erosion so this is all about the give reasons there are total six give reasons so the remaining part will be discussed in the next video keep watching and subscribe the channel thank you